Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nicole. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to wash your hands effectively to wash away the coronavirus and also how to protect your hands at the same time. As we are in this coronavirus pandemic, it's very important to protect ourselves from the infection. One of the most effective ways to protect ourselves and also to stop the spread of the infection is to wash our hands regularly. It's important to have the correct technique when you wash your hands so that you cleanse all areas of your hands. Today, I'm going to show you how to wash your hands correctly and thoroughly. I'm also going to discuss with you what you can use to wash your hands with and how to look after the skin on your hands so that you don't run into problems with regular hand washing. First of all, I'm going to show you the A-Lift technique to wash your hands because this is a technique that healthcare workers use in a clinical setting to ensure that their hands are clean after hand washing. To start with, you want to wet your hands with some water. Now this alien technique is adapted from the World Health Organization guidelines on hand hygiene in healthcare. Next, you want to have enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Then you rub your hands palm to palm like this. You place your right hand over your left, interlace your fingers, then move forward and backward. Do the same on the other side. Next, you place your palm to each other with fingers interlaced and move forward and backward. Then you interlock your fingers and twist around like that. Next, you want to clean your thumb. So you place your thumb in your palm and then rotate around. Do the same thing on the other side. Next, you want to clean your fingertips and your palm. So you place your fingertips on your palm and rotate around like this. Do the same thing on the other side. And now you're ready to rinse the soap off. Make sure you rinse the soap off completely so that you wash away the virus. plenty of water to cleanse off the soap and then you're ready to dry your hands. Secondly, what can we use to wash our hands with? If you have access to a sink and running water, it's best to use soap and water. There is no particular soap on the market that can effectively kill the virus, but the key thing is use it with the correct technique and to rinse the soap off completely. This is to ensure that the virus is washed away from your hands along with the soap. If you don't have access to a sink and running water, you can use alcohol gel, but make sure it has at least 60% alcohol in it. Alcohol gel is not effective against all viruses, but it does work for coronavirus because it can attack the envelope of the virus. The key thing is to use the alcohol gel with the same A-leaf technique that I showed earlier and to allow the alcohol gel to evaporate from the skin and dry out completely. However, alcohol gel is more drying on the skin compared to soap and water. Finally, I'm going to discuss with you how you can look after the skin on your hands so that you don't run into problems such as dry hands and hand eczema due to regular hand washing. If you already have dry hands, go for a moisturizing hand wash. If not, try to moisturize your hands immediately after hand washing. It's important to moisturize your skin regularly to maintain the natural skin barrier function. This is because regular hand washing can make the skin go dry and cracked. And if the skin is dry and cracked, it allows more germs to get into the skin, causing problems such as infection and inflammation. It's always good to have some hand lotion with you at all times so that you can moisturize your hands after hand washing wherever you are. During the daytime, you probably want something quite light on the skin. So go for a hand cream or a hand lotion rather than an ointment because you don't want to feel sticky or greasy when you are out and about. At night, try to moisturize your hands before going to bed and try to go for an ointment because it can stay on the skin longer and it can help to keep your hands moisturized throughout the night while you're asleep. Okay, just to recap, first of all, try to use the A-leaf technique when you wash your hands. 
Secondly, try to use soap and water, but make sure you rinse off the soap completely. Finally, try to moisturize your hands immediately after you wash your hands and also just before bedtime. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to share it with your friends and family. I'll see you again next time.